Hi there, my name is Natasha and today I'll be taking you with me on a day trip adventure to one of my favorite cities in Holland. I think Harlem has its own unique charm and vibe that's quite different from Amsterdam, which makes it a perfect day trip. Quick to get here and it has best of everything, whether you're into museums, historical sites, shopping, and if you're a foodie, a lot of really cool cafes and restaurants to try. Getting to Harlem is quick and easy, either via bus or a 20-minute train ride from Amsterdam Central. Harlem is a historical city being the oldest and also the capital city of North Holland. We'll wander around this picturesque town and discover a whole new world of art, culture and Dutch landscape. We are now at the main square here in Harlem. There's a lot of places to choose from, a lot of cafes and restaurants, but I'm going to take you first to a little hidden gem, which is right beside Harlem's library. And little do we know, there's actually a cafe inside. Let's go! You can find a lot of hidden gems and a cozy spot for your morning coffee. But let's now head out to the busy square in the center of Harlem where you can find this magnificent 14th century Gothic cathedral, surrounded by historical monuments and a lively market every Saturday. It can be busy during the weekend, but if you visit on weekdays, you have the advantage of lesser crowds in the city center with a cozier and quiet atmosphere. Harlem City, much like Amsterdam, has some of the oldest and most historical museums in Holland. All of the nice museums are just walking distance from each other. Our first attraction for today is Taylor's Museum for some art, natural history and science. Fun fact, it's actually the oldest museum here in the Netherlands. Taylor's Museum is a well-preserved arts and science institution, originally owned by a wealthy Dutch merchant in the early 18th century. When he died, he actually said that he never wanted to sell his house and it will stay on forever. So that's why they converted this house into a museum as it is today. Really looking forward to seeing it. Stepping inside is a wonder in itself with collections of ancient fossils, science machines, paintings from world-class artists, and of course, not to be missed, is this magnificent oval room. You can also peek into the life and former home of Peter Taylor, which has been completely restored for the public. Before heading to our next attraction, let's grab a quick bite from one of the many restaurants around the Grote Market. For today's lunch, we ordered flamkuchen and spicy pulled chicken. It looks so delicious. I'm so excited to eat. Another museum to check out in Harlem is Franz Hals, named after Franz Hals himself, a famous portrait painter during the Dutch Golden Age. Nice to know that these museums are included in the Amsterdam city card, so I have free access to them, and all I need to do is just book time slot in advance. Franz Hals Museum actually has two locations. We are in the Hof location, where you can find more of the classical 16th, 17th century art paintings, and you have the Hall, which is close to the Grote Kerk, where you can find more of the modern and contemporary art. So if you're an art lover, there's just so much to soak in and enjoy here in Harlem. A wonderful collection, not just for art, but also a peek into Harlem's Renaissance history, architecture and culture. Harlem is super picturesque at any time of the year. It has amazing views, not just in the city center itself. You can really feel more the Dutch culture in the city. Let's walk through this bridge and then we can find the windmill. And what's great about it is you don't have to travel far to actually see and visit a windmill. The Windmill de Adrian is another iconic attraction in Harlem. You can just admire the scenic windmill from afar, but you could also go inside for the full experience. You can do a tour of the museum, which uses models and visual installations to explore the history of Molen Adrian and the other Dutch windmills. Climb and everything was worth it because you get this amazing view of Harlem City.
All right, guys, it's already 5 p.m. and I think we've done a lot today. We've done a bit of history, art, culture. We visited a windmill. And now for the fun part, for you beer lovers, I think you guys are gonna appreciate this. The fact that Harlem historically is one of the biggest brewing cities in the Netherlands. Now we are in Jopenkirk. Jopenkirk is Harlem's main brewery. It's called Jopenkirk because it used to be a church and now it's turned into a brewery. Perfect place to wind down and have a drink or two. Thank you for joining me and exploring Harlem together. If you want more travel inspiration in and around Amsterdam area, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you guys again soon in the next video. Bye!